So? You really want my opinion? No, but I'm sure I'm gonna get it anyway. Okay. Well, the entire block only has a few different house models. You know, similar floor plans, safe, non-confrontational color choices. Generic, middle-class, nowhere. Oh, it's gotta be somewhere. Why is that? Because we live here now. Right. Home sweet home. Furniture made it. All right, everything that's wrong with the house in 20 seconds, go. Well, the floors aren't level. Painters painted the floorboards first. The staircase should be at least three feet over. I could go on. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. My turn? Naturally. The keen ability to focus on the smallest and least important things. Borderline obsessive slash crazy, but that's uh, one of the things I like about you. Well, it's gotten me every job I've ever had. <laughs> Seriously, I mean, like, the crown moldings in the living room don't match. The There's more. Really? Uh -huh. Okay. Come on. What's this? It's your office. I realize initially there's not gonna be a lot of work, but you know, when you do decide to start drawing again, then there's certainly enough here to uh, keep me occupied. I get it. It's nice. It's really nice. I know I haven't been the easiest person to deal with lately. True. Really. Very sweet. I accept my apology. And what if we don't? I can always go back to prostitution. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. You're so good at that. Mm. <laughs> oh, okay. Ew. <laughs> that is sick, and I need therapy. <laughs> <laughs> this is mm. how you were made. <laughs> oh, that's so gross. You're a strange man, Dad. <laughs> how was the drive? Long. Mm, you should have come with us. Oh, yeah, because that would have been so fun. Eat. I'll order some pizza. So, I need books, a bus pass, and lots of other living stuff. Yeah, yeah. Why don't you just stay here with us while you go to school? It's not that far commute. Oh. Half my stuff is already at the dorm. So? Cut the umbilical cord, Vic. Are you gonna leave me here alone with this? Mm -hmm. You marry him. I did marry you. Seriously, why don't you just stay here with us? I'll be fine. Well, when do you leave? Tuesday. It's quick. <laughs> She'll be fine. I know.
we're about to sleep. It's too quiet. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. Victoria. Fritz. Nice to meet you. You guys settled in okay? Settling, yeah. Good. Ah, uh, well, I should probably just get going. Have a good day. Oh, uh, yeah, you too. Hurry up, we gotta go. Hey, I was gonna make something. Oh, too late. We just got here. Do you hate me? A little. And where are you going? Campus orientation. Well, when will you be back? Soon. I'll call you. Um, oh, oh. And I'm gonna take the car. Love you. Enjoy the quiet. Ah, excuse me. Hello there. Welcome to the neighborhood. Thanks. Um, do you know where the nearest deli is? There's a food counter at the grocery store. Food counter. Uh, where's that? Oh, close. Ten minute drive. Drive. Ah, uh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> nice to meet you. You too, sweetie. to visit. 
It's a weekday. Yeah, but it could be a sick day. Yeah, what are you, 12? No fun. Look, on the weekend, I will come out. I'll ingest various balls of wine, say things I should apologize in the morning and be good times. You should see some of the work here. It's really nice work. I'm sending you a pic. I'm guessing you're taking pictures of the workers as well. Of course. Did you get the pic? No. My new virus filters are delaying email attachments from my phone. Can you let me know when you get it? I'm looking forward to it. Anyways, hang in there, girl. I miss you. I miss you. Love your face. Love you. Better late than never. Oh.
Can you bring in the garbage bag? I know what I saw. I understand that. I'm just trying to get the details. His windows weren't blacked out before. He's hiding something. Hi there. Hey. Trust me, she wouldn't be making this up. No, I'm not implying that she is, sir. Then you need to go over there and take a look. All right. I'll pay him a visit. You saw someone in a cage. Someone or something is inside that house. Hi there. Detective Cornell. We've had our noisy work. We don't call it detective or American journalist. Wife plastic wraps everything like she thinks it's gonna go bad. <laughs> Coffee, tea? Ah, oh, thanks, but I'm actually all coffeeed out. That song you're playing? Uh, Wagner's Tannhauser. Right. Yeah, my ex dragged me to that opera. Ex? Yeah. Ironically, it's a song about love and forgiveness. <laughs> well, obviously, Wagner never met Jill. So what exactly can I do for you? Well, like I mentioned, there's a noise complaint, so I just want to check things out. Well, I appreciate you having me in. Anytime. Wow. <laughs> Impressive. My basement looks like a third world country. So who made this complaint? I'm not at liberty to say. So what's next? Well, I'll take up my little black book here, make a few notes, and thank you for your time and the tour. You sure you don't want that coffee or tea? Oh, I'm good, but thank you, though. Well, thank you for your time. Anytime. Okay. Take care. They're not doing anything. Come on. Why aren't they doing anything? I guess there was nothing to find. Well, I'm not making it up. I know. Do you? Miss Payton? You didn't find anything, did you? No, I didn't. And a uh, case the size you described, well, the basement was completely empty. Well, you have to go back. You have to look again. Oh, well, I guess I could, but there's no probable cause. I'm not probable cause? But trust me, there's nothing down there or the rest of the house. Now, you have my card. If there's any other concerns, just give me a call, okay? Thank you. Yeah, have a good afternoon. All right.
missed you. You too. You look kind of tired. Thanks, Aves. You have everything for school? Mm-hmm. How are you getting around exactly? Bus pass. This is Dayton. Well, you have a lovely daughter. Thank you. I just wanted to apologize. No need. I mean, for what? Last night. Last night? If I made any noise that woke you up. No, no, I slept like a baby. Copper. Excuse me? My dog, Copper. She's been with me for 13 years. She sleeps on my bed and follows me everywhere. I I'm sorry, am I missing something? I was burying her last night. Oh. I couldn't stand to see her suffer. She was lying there alone and cold and stiff. Nobody should be seen like that. I'm sorry for your loss. I'm sorry if I woke you. So, um, you see anything else? Here. Can you please put that away? Hold on one sec. Oh, not at the table. It's your problem. Just eat. Morning. Hey. Can you sleep last night? Uh-huh. Couple more days and you're off. Looking forward to it. So, you uh, gonna work on the uh, project today? Victoria? Huh? Gonna work on the project today? Oh, yeah. Uh, -huh. uh, do you want that to go? No, you know, maybe I'm gonna take a day or three off. You never take days off. Maybe I should more often. Look, I'm I'm fine. It's nothing really pressing to do anyway. A couple phone calls, I can do those from home. Besides, I could use the R and R. Yeah, you're looking all tired, Dad. Thanks, pal. Look, I really I don't need a babysitter. And can we really afford you taking time off? Well, now you got this new project going. Things will be a little easier around here. Besides, I uh, 
I work on salary. Maybe you can use some help around the house. Great. I need a favor. Sounds fun. What do you need? I need to know when a certain house had its last building inspection. Sure. Where is it? Victoria? <gasps> Ellie, hi. I was just looking for you. You know, some people just knock on the front door. Yeah. You want to come in? Um, oh, good. You know, actually, I was, I was just needing some sugar. People still do that around here, don't they? <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> but uh, where is your cup? I'm going to need that, too. Don't dawdle. Come on in. Great. Fritz is at work, but uh, he should be home any minute. Do you want to stay for lunch, dear? No, I should get going. Your son? Sure is. He live around here? No. Thanks. Coffee? Sure. So you mentioned that you were from the city before? <laughs> Years ago. What brought you out here? What didn't? You? Uh, something about cost effectiveness. Um, truth is, the commute's killing us, so. That's the suburbs for you. You're either running to or from. <laughs> so Fritz is retired? Are you taking a census? <laughs> Sorry. Technically, he's retired, but he still does the odd job on the side. Kind of like you, I guess. Well, technically on a stress leave. Euphemism for being fired. Stress of a move. The economy. <laughs> An only child going off into the world for the first time. Somewhere in the back of your mind wondering if you will ever see them again. Only mothers would understand. <sighs> Maybe getting out of the city was a good idea. You know what? I'm not sold. <laughs> Me neither. But Fritz hated it. Too cramped, I guess. Reminded him of his childhood. He was in an orphanage in Romania. A couple here adopted him, but they weren't very nice to him. I'm sorry. It's an awful way to grow up. Poor Fritzy. He still has to sleep with the whole light on. Hmm. Uh, you know, can I just use your bathroom? Oh, sure. Uh, just around the corner. OK. <laughs>
just, um... Everything okay? Yes, I, I just needed some sugar. <clears throat> some strange things have been happening around here lately. Really, I... Police come to your house, too? Um... I saw them in your driveway. They go through every room in your house, too. Uh-huh, they did. Maybe they didn't. We moved out of the city because of the noise and the crime. We like the clean air, the people, the quiet. Uh, uh, we like the quiet. Well, we should do everything we can to keep it quiet and to keep the big city crimes in the big city, to keep them happening to other people. Do you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. <clears throat> Good. Furnace. <laughs> um, you know, I, I just, I need to get going. Oh, oh, oh dear. <laughs> Whoopsie. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, it was an accident. Uh, Accidents happen. Yeah, I probably have a dustpan in my house. Oh, no, don't worry about it, dear. Oh, no, really, I um, I should get going, but I'll I'll get that. Thank thank you. Sorry. Thanks for coming by, neighbor. Great, good, thank you. All right. Why don't I even have to ask where you were? He threatened me. He what? Yeah, he threatened me. What did he say? Well, it's not what he said. It's how he said it. So he didn't threaten you? No, he did. He didn't. It was just the way he said things. Honey, who knows what's going on in his life? It could have been anything. You don't believe me? What, that he threatened you without threatening you? <sighs> Honey, you got to get out of the house. Come on, I'm going to I, town. Come on. I, Come on. Uh, where are you going? I'm going out. Back Miss the smell of pollution. These idiots in the suburbs don't know what they're missing. Huh? What do you miss more, the uh, burning tire or the diesel? Honey? Hello? Huh? Oh. Pollution's good, right? Baby, what's going on? Huh? Nothing. Come on. Ava's worried about you, and I'm worried about you. Well, then you two should get together and go worry somewhere. I'm fine. Come here. What's this? It's a quick stop. Come on. You see a doctor's office? I see a place to read really old magazines. Hi, uh, Michael Payton, see Dr. McClear, please. Thank this way. Um, what are we doing here? The really old magazines are down this way. I'm not crazy, by the way. <laughs> Michael? I don't need a doctor. Good. Mike. And nice to see you. Good to see you. You must be Victoria. Yes. Hi. Hello. Uh, you two know each other? Yeah, we used to shower together. <laughs> what? Before I moved my practice from the city, we used to work out at the same gym. So I understand you're having some trouble sleeping. I was, yes. I'm fine now. Vic, you've had two hours sleep in as many days. But who's counting? Mm -hmm. Well, moving can be very stressful. On top of that, losing your job, I'd be anxious too. I'm not anxious. What's that? Something to help you sleep. All right. Good to see you. Hey, good luck with the practice. Thank yeah. you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. All right.
That was an ambush. Yeah, but we got drugs. Don't do that again. Honey, I was just... Just don't. All right. Well, you're getting them. Fine. Yeah, hello. The entire block has only three different house models. Similar open floor plan, soft, non-confrontational color choices. It's completely generic. Oh, I saw a guy mowing his lawn in uh, black socks. Where are you? Mediocreville. Population you. Sure you don't want that heat. I'm okay, Mr. Wolfram. Wolfram, you're in his house? Basement, nothing special. I looked into it like you'd asked. He has all the necessary building permits. Sometimes permittees keep building after the inspection, so I wanted to check it out for myself. Look, you have to get out of there, all right? I just found out his son went missing. He was never found, and I think he's somewhere in that basement. <laughs> Very dramatic. Look, I'm emailing you the building permits and schematics. You have to get out of there. If he could do that to his son, there's no telling what he could do to you. And that's not right. What's not right? Uh, there's a wired monk just off your exit. Meet me there. You're buying. Greece. We have to go. No, seriously, we have to go. So, how's it looking? Ah, uh, great. It's nice work. Wilson Craft. That's a good company. The best. Permits are overseen by the city. So why is a private out-of-town company here doing inspections? We're subcontractors. Damn it. What? Chris isn't picking up her phone. Someone's worried about you. It's my boss's control freak, you know. It's just... People know I'm here. My car is in your driveway. Look, I'm looking. 
And what will they find? Victoria. Hey. Chris! Victoria. What are you doing? You don't know that she's in there. Yes, I do know she's in there. She's in trouble. Chris! Chris! Mom? What are you doing? What is she doing? Honey, you can't do that. Come on. I'm telling you she's in there. What's going on here? Where is she? My friend, where is she? I have no idea what you're... Where is she? Victoria, come on. I'm sorry. I know sorry. she's in there. I know come it. On. Come on. He's filing a restraining order. He is. She's in there. You're lucky he's not charging with assault and battery. She was just there. She didn't leave. Check his garage. Her car is probably still in there. Look, I understand the pressures that you may be going through. No, don't, don't pretend like you know me. All right, his missing son is in that basement. The Wolframs have been through a lot. Dragging up that baggage isn't going to help anyone. So that's it, then. There's only evidence of one crime here. And that's an assault by you. No, no body, no crime. I get it. Now, please, I need you to listen to me. You go near his house again, and you will be arrested and charged. Are we clear? Good. Hey, when you get this, if you get this, um, you just call me right away. Love you. Hey, we'll come visit as soon as it all settles down. Just right now, things are a little... Psycho? Uh, some tact, please. She's gonna be so mad, you know, when she finds out that I've left. So let me worry about that. You concentrate on your schoolwork, okay? Okay. Love you. I love you too. Privacy. Maybe her battery died. She was there today. She called me from his basement. What can I do? You can help me. Help you?
you do what? Get into that house. All right. I'll help. First, you need sleep. You go over there now, you're just gonna wind up getting thrown in jail. We'll never get to the bottom of this, all right? We'll get through this like we always do. Thank you. <clears throat> I should go lock up. I already have. Double check. Double check. All right. I'll double check. You sure? Yeah, fine. How long was I out? Gotta love those drugs. <sighs> yeah. I'll be down in a minute. All right. You sure?
you sleepy head. Hey. Where's Ava? Uh, she's gone. What? Why? Well, she had to... I thought that she should... Not see me? I'm sorry. No. You're right. Hey, um, I was uh, thinking we could go out to breakfast. No, I'm not really hungry. Okay. Y you know what, though? Actually, I could go for a biscotti. Okay. Yeah, sure. Sure you uh... No. You know, I'm just going to take a bath. Okay. Mm -hmm. Back in five.
Hello? Hey, sorry I'm late. There was a line of caffeine junkies. Victoria? Mother. It's gonna be, it's gonna be okay. My friend, Carice, is she in there with you? Have you seen my friend? have to get you out of here. How long have you been down here? Always. Where did he take you from? Upstairs. Upstairs? You're the baby in the photo? The boy in the picture with you, where is he? Dad. When was the last time you saw him? I don't remember. I don't know. I saw him fall down the stairs. I never saw him after that. Yesterday, she, I think she thinks she ran away with your brother. And we have to get you out of here. Do you hear that?
I'll be back for you. Okay? You know you're not allowed down here. I thought I heard you fall. Well, you didn't. Hey, what are you doing? They have a girl in the basement. Okay, we have to help her. I Pictures. Where? My phone. My phone. You broke into their house, Victoria. You're not listening to me, okay? They have a daughter in the basement behind a wall, okay? She's been down there her whole life, and now I think they have Carice. How do you know that? But, but, who cares, okay? We just need to call the police. A text from Carice. She was called out of town. This doesn't make any sense. It's, it's him. Okay, he wrote that. He's just trying to cover his tracks. Give it up, Victoria. I know what I saw. You need help. I'm out of here. You, you just said you'd help. You said you believed me. I never said believe. You don't realize how serious this is. They have a restraining order against you. This isn't just your life you're complicating, okay? I can't keep running after you and cleaning up your mess. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not lying to you. Another text from Chris. It's not her. Moving out here was a really bad idea. Please don't go. I don't have any other choice. Um, okay. What are you doing here? What are you doing? Should you be in school? You told me to come home ASAP. No, I didn't. Uh, yeah, you did. I never sent that. Ava, come on, I'm leaving. You need to come with me. Please don't go. Okay, what's going on? I'll explain on the way, come on. No, are you guys fighting? No. No, I don't want to leave Mom. Your mother won't come. Is this about that neighbor? Mom, <laughs> come on, seriously, that old guy? Just go with your dad. Well, what are you gonna do? I don't know. Ava. Please, just go, all right? It's not safe for you here. Well, then it's not safe for you. Ava, come on! <laughs>
Where's Carice? Where's my friend? Gone. You are a sick, twisted old man. 
You wouldn't understand. Inside on the floor, you can't miss him. Where are you going? There's something I have to do. opera at the beginning the man is trapped trapped by love a trap he set himself he goes through his life wanting love more than anything willing to do anything for it But before he can get to her, she dies. Come on, Ellie, there's something I need to show you. Where are we going? To see your daughter. Your son never ran away. Your husband killed him, and your daughter has been down here this whole time. My son was troubled. He'd fallen into a lot of bad things. Fritz was a disciplinarian, sometimes abusive, but he was no killer. It was an accident. Fritz didn't want me to go to jail, so... He was protecting the family. The only way he knew. You knew. We are not bad people. Broken body clothes. 
Thought I want your breath upon me Rise awake into my voice And this I give to you My strength, my will, my love The life that gets me out of bed It's gonna be alright You know, maybe I should just stay here. No. You know, you are always more than welcome here anytime, but right now, you've got stuff to do, girl. And the only guys around here wear black socks when they mow the lawn, so run. Run far away. <laughs> should I be insulted? Absolutely. There's still a few good ones left. A few, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll take the other ones. I bet you will.